So originally, I was supposed to be doing this talk in August, um, but unfortunately, I'm not sure of current plans. So I had to switch with someone else who was supposed to do it today. Um, and that actually leads us into the topic of this talk. Uh, it is the seeds of certainty. Um, so let me ask you guys a question. By a show of hands, how many of you guys know what you're going to have when you go home to eat for lunch today? OK, okay a couple people. So most of you are uncertain what your lunch plans are currently, which is good and bad because it plays into my topic, but it's bad because you guys don't know what you're eating. <laughs> um, I don't currently know what I'm eating either, so it's, it's OK. Um, but most of my life has been filled with uncertainty. Not knowing things scares me. Um, moving up here three years ago, really, I didn't know anything. Um, I didn't know anybody up here. None of my family really did. We've only heard talk of people at church who were like, yes, this is really good. You guys need to go to Concord. So we, we came here and we met people, and that was really good. But in the beginning, we were unsure of how it would turn out, if things would go well. I was uncertain of school. I didn't know anybody up here either, so I didn't have any friends at school. And for the first, well, I guess my last two years of school, high school, I didn't really talk to anybody, which wasn't, an, wasn't a great play, but it was how it was, because I didn't know anybody and I was afraid to know people. I was uncertain if I would be their friend. I was uncertain if they would like me. I just, I didn't know things, and that, that scared me. Um, just everything is different. Things are, we're always uncertain. Uncertainty lives in our culture, in our society. All of us are uncertain. Um, but there is, however, a certainty in things, a certainty in our Savior, Jesus Christ. With a quick Google search, you can find over 100 instances in the Bible of the assurance of salvation. Um, John 3.16, one of the most famous Bible verses in the Bible, for God so loved the world so much, he, be, he gave his only begotten son that whoever through him believes shall not perish but have eternal life. And then we have more examples. In John 5, 24, it reads, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my words and believes, believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Heaven is another certainty that we're given. We know that when we die, as long as we follow the, the things we're told to do in the Bible, as long as we believe Christ is our Savior and that God is real, we'll have a home with him in heaven one day. If you want to turn with me to 2 Corinthians uh, 4, verses 16 through 18, Paul wrote multiple letters to the churches that he had visited. He wrote to the church in Corinth and said, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly, outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly, we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that, out, that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is on unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. He also then writes in his letter to the church at Philippi, in Philippians, um, verse, or sorry, chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, if you want to turn there as well. He then goes later on, writing to the church, and says, Therefore, if, any, if there is any encouragement in Christ, if there is any consolation of love, if there is any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and compassion, make my joy complete by being of the same mind, maintaining the same love, united in the Spirit, intent on one purpose. And there's, there's a constant uncertainty of not knowing what will happen in our life. I don't know if Tomorrow, there's going to be traffic on my way to work. I'm not sure. There most likely is, because that's always how roads are. And, you know. But I'm not sure. There, it may be a good day tomorrow. Who knows? But we don't know what will happen today. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. We don't know how much time that we have in our lives. Only God knows. Only Jesus knows. And we have to live the best life that we can, honoring God and honoring our Savior, so that we can have an eternal life with him in heaven one day. And I mean, I have, I have no clue what's going to happen. I have uncertainty every single day. But I have hope that we can spread the seeds of certainty 
throughout our culture, throughout our lives. There are many examples of the scene being spread throughout things like Proverbs, Acts, Romans, Titus, Hebrews, and so many more scriptures. We have examples of this seed being grown, the hope of salvation, of our life with God in heaven one day. And that's something that we need to believe in.